Let's look at the row space, column space, and null space of a matrix. Let A be an M by N matrix. The row space of a matrix A is the set of all linear combinations of the rows. We denote the row space of A by row A. It is a subspace of Rn. Notice it's of Rn because A is an M by N matrix. A has N columns, which means that each row has N entries. Let A be an M by N matrix. The column space of A, which we denote by call A, uncreative, is the set of all linear combinations of the columns of A. It is the subspace of Rm. So for example, let A equal this matrix. Determine if 1, 2, 3, 5 is in the column space of A. Well, column space of A is the set of all linear combinations of the columns of A. Can we express 1, 2, 3, 5 as a linear combination of the columns of A? Let's find out. So that means that uh, let's try to find constants a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, such that a1 times that first column, 1, 1, 2, 2, plus a2 times the second column, plus a3 times the second, uh, third column, plus a4 times the fourth column, plus a5 times the fifth column, equals 1, 2, 3, 5. In other words, we're trying to express 1, 2, 3, 5 as a linear combination of the columns of A. This is what I had on the previous page. Notice that if you expand this out, for instance, if you look at the first, if you look at the first row, you've got a1 times 1, a2 times 0, a3 times 3, a4 times 1, a5 times 2 equals 1, and that's that's this equation. You also get these other equations. So basically, this matrix equation can be rewritten like this. Okay, so we can write this as ax equals 1, 2, 3, 5. And that's where x equals x1, x2, x3, x4, x5. And a is just that matrix that we saw earlier, namely 1, 0, 3, blah, 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 blah. A, a, was, a was this matrix that we just introduced. OK, when we put that augmented matrix in reduced echelon form, again, we're taking ax equals 1, 2, 3, 5 and expressing it as an augmented matrix. When we put this augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, we get this. Notice the bottom equation is 0 equals 1. You can't have 0 equals 1. That has no solution. Therefore, 1, 2, 3, 5 is not in the column space of A. There are no constants A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, such that you, know, you can use those to form a linear combination of the columns and get, get 1, 2, 3, 5. Not going to happen. The dimension of the row space of A is called the rank of A. Find the rank of this matrix, the matrix A we've been dealing with. Okay, the reduced row echelon form of A gives you a basis for the row space of A because elementary row operations don't change the row space. They change the rows, but the row space of A is the same as the row space of the reduced row echelon form of A. So just count the number of non-zero rows in the reduced row echelon uh, uh, reduced row echelon form. Okay, so in this case, the reduced row echelon form of A is this, and this has three non-zero rows. Thus, the rank of A is three. That's the number of that's the number of rows in a basis for the row space of A. Again, this would be one. Uh, this would be one vector. That would be another vector, and that would be another vector. Those would be the three vectors that make up the basis for the row space of A. So the rank of A, the dimension of the row space, is three. The null space of A, which we denote by null A, is the set of all solutions x of ax equals 0. It is a subspace of Rn. So for example, determine if 1, 2, 3 is in the null space of this matrix B. Now it is, because B times 1, 2, 3 is 0, 0, 0. So 1, 2, 3 times B, that's 0, 0, 0. That means 1, 2, 3 is in the null space of B. The dimension of the null space of a matrix A is called the nullity of A. Let's let A equal this matrix we've been dealing with. Find a basis for the nullity of, uh, for null space A and find a, the nullity of A. Okay, the null space of A, uh, this is the set of all solutions x of Ax equals 0. So let's just go ahead and solve this equation. Leads to the augmented matrix. The reduced echelon form looks like this. We know how to solve this. Okay. So when you take this reduced echelon form and express it in terms of equations, you end up with this. Okay, so for example, x1 plus 3x3 minus 6x5 equals 0.
Okay, and you do that for all the equations, for all the, for all the rows. Move things to the other side, we end up with these equations, x1 equals negative 3x3 plus 6x5, x2 equals 20x5, x4 equals negative 8x5. So those are the same equations I gave you a moment ago. If we rewrite them like this, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 equals these, so notice x3 is just x3, x5 is x5. The reason I write it that way is that we can break this up as a linear combination. So it's going to be x3 times this factor plus x5 times this factor. Again, you can see the negative 3x3, the 1x3. That's where the negative 3 and the 1 come from. Okay, so notice this is our solution. Every solution is this linear combination of these two vectors. Oops, that 6x5 shouldn't be there. So these vectors form a basis for the null space of A. The nullity is the dimension of the null space of A. Since there are two vectors in the basis, the nullity is 2. Note that for an m by n matrix A, the rank plus the nullity, uh, okay, the rank is going to be the number of leading variables. Because, again, the rank, that's the dimension of the row space. So, if, for example, if you have three uh, rows, uh, three non-zero rows in the re reduced row echelon form, that means you have three leading variables. So the rank is the number of leading variables. The nullity is the number of free variables. Because each free variable, like x3 and x5 in this case, uh, leads to each, uh, yeah, each of those leads to a free variable. And so the, the number of leading variables plus the number of free variables, that equals the number of columns of A. And the number of columns of A is N. Okay, so let's verify this for the above matrix, namely that the, the rank plus the nullity is the number of columns. Okay, we've seen that the rank was 3 and the nullity was 2, which means the rank plus the nullity is 5, and that's also the number of columns of A. So it's valid for this one.